Okay, so we're gonna attach our covers. Now remember in the beginning I told you that um, my measurements, like let's see, where did I, I wrote it down somewhere. The paper covers, so the paper covers are three and one eighth and I do that because I push the cover up against, I butt it up against the binding, okay? And then I only just want that smidge of room See how there's just a smidge of room around the top there and along the sides, okay? There's like an eighth of an inch of room around the whole thing. But you don't need that eighth on this side because you're butting it right up against the um, binding. So that's why I like to just, instead of it being a quarter, it's a quarter on this side because you want an eighth and an eighth, but it's only an eighth on this side. That's why the measurement is weird that way but I like the way it uh, lines up when you get the book together everything it's butt up against this binding and then every you have that little smidge of room around the whole thing so I just think it it makes it look better okay so I'm going to use my wet glue again and I'm going to cover this whole paper with wet glue the whole front cover and I actually run it right across my ribbon too, right down the middle of my ribbon. Just put a generous amount, not too much because it will all squish out. And then hopefully I'll be able to line this up um, while I'm with the, with the tripod and everything. But remember I said, butt this right up against the edge. So just eyeball it. You kind of have a little wiggle room with the wet glue, but not too much. So I just eyeball it to have that eighth of an inch on either side and then push down and just make sure so eh, I think I, I fudged a little bit because the paper isn't always the same on both sides so I can smush a little bit so I smushed it to that side and then you just take I'm going to take my wet wipe and just really push down and get that to seal to the other, to the back of that uh, binding. And um, you can use your, I mean, really just squish it down. But see how I've gone, I've butt right up against the, the end there. And then you have your room. Oh, this one's looking crooked. I'm gonna have to re, I'm gonna just re, um, what is that called? Fold it, recrease it, just make sure that stays straight because this is going to line up on the front, uh, the back cover. So you do the same thing. My dog is freaking out upstairs. The kids are off school today for in service um, teachers, so I think there's a little bit of action going on out there. She can see right out the way our, um, we have side lights on our front door, and there's a window that's like, this big because some of it's cloudy and some of it's you know frosted or whatever right at her eye height and she's only like six inches off the ground she's little but um it's so funny she can see what's going on out there she's so nosy all right so make sure you're um <clears throat> this is the front let's see how I want my back like the writing's upside down that says dragonfly so I'm going to put it like this so I'm going to try and line this up while I'm on watching through my camera and really you just have to line up your covers now because as long as that's flush to the bottom you're good to go so just squeeze get that paper stuck down and open it up and push oh it looks like one of my pages no I think that's the back okay and I'm just going to use my bone folder and really go across, make sure all the glue is stuck. Now I'm taking my wet, just blotting, making sure all that glue. All right, and I think we're good. So that's the back, that's the front. Oh shoot. Well, it looks like I've done what I've not done with all these books and I actually glued this upside down. So I will continue the tutorial, but lesson learned, make sure when you're gluing that you are, your book, your inside book is the right way up 
before you glue. So I think I will end up pulling these off and you know what I'm going to, I don't want to do it because I have to finish the tutorial and put the binding on. I'll be right back. All right, so now I saved it. I pulled the covers off because the wet glue still had a minute. I pride myself on perfection. I really try to make these things as straight and as good as I can. And you know, it's going to be fine. It's a little crumply. It's a little thinner probably because there was a little bit of little tearing, but I, I flipped it. So I feel bad because I, I do want people to get quality stuff. So anyway, now we're going to put, and I mean, you could leave it like that. I mean, it looks perfectly cute. You just see that little piece of ribbon there and the um, back of your um, binding, but it's fine. I mean, and like I said, if you don't have sticky back canvas, which I just got this online and I'm really happy with it. I have been using it for mini albums and stuff. Um, you just take a piece of paper, cut the same size, and I had this what? Again, it's that one and a quarter, so you have a quarter inch for your um, right in here and then a half inch on both sides to wrap around the book by four and an eighth because it's that crazy, um, let's see, I wanna, I'll want i take the measurement right in front of you so you can see. It's actually four and a quarter. These are four and a quarter. Did I cut this too short? No, I cut it ahead of time and... Yeah, four and a quarter. Just make sure you measure this before you cut it, and that way you'll be fine. Did I cut this one too short? No. Yeah, I did, actually. But so, like I said, if you um, wrap this around, and just using, again, your wet glue, and adhere half an inch on both sides, you can have a binding, and then you put your little piece of ribbon along the edge. So let me go ahead and adhere this. Um, my battery's blinking. I think I have time, but... I'm going to adhere this. So the sticky back canvas, it just you just peel off the back. Oh, and I've adhered um, an eyelet because I like to put a little charm on the top. I made these little charms. Let's see, here's one. This one actually is for my uh, dragonfly one that I'm going to make. And I made this. Just with the colors from the paper. I'll show you. All right, so let me peel. make sure this is all peeled off. And then you just line it up half an inch, about eyeball. I eyeball everything usually. And then try and keep it straight, about a half an inch. Yeah, it's a little shy. I did cut these an eighth short, an eighth of an inch short, but that's okay because the ribbon kind of covers it up too. So it'll be all right. It'll be all right. This is my imperfect one for the tutorial. And then you just kind of flip it over like that and push down. And that's crooked. <clears throat> the sticky back canvas, you kind of have a minute to play with it too, so it's nice. I do like it. I, I would recommend it. It's, it's a handy tool to have in your stash. So there's my little thing. And then I like to use Fabri-Tac, or this is actually Fabri-Fix. It's by a company called Beacon. And I got this at Hobby Lobby, but they have Fabri-Tac at AC Moore. Um, I have a small bottle. This is just empty. Fabri-Tac. It's by Beacon. But if you're using any type of fabric, and because this is canvas and, and like satin ribbon, I guess, I just like to use this because I, I feel like my hot glue gun, it peels off. Like you can't, it's, it totally will peel off. Like I've put on um, trim and different things on boxes. Sometimes maybe it's the surface underneath, like say I did it with Mod Podge or something because that's kind of a glossy surface. Maybe the um, the glue gun doesn't really adhere to that anyway, but this does. This stuff, I've not had any problem and I would recommend this actually for um, either Fabri-Fix or Fabri-Tac, one of these Beacon products for any type of fabric like trims, ribbon, stuff like that. So then again, I'm just eyeballing because that's what I do. Um, yeah, kind of just center it down there. And then just give it a push. It's a little bumpy, but that's okay. And then I trim it this way. I just flip it and trim around my tripod that way. And I will do the same thing to the back, but you don't need to see that. But there it is. 
And then, like I said, I will put this little, um, just through my eyelet there, I'll put a nice jump ring and just hang, hang my little dangle. I'm going to put some stickles. This is the original one. I put um, stickles up on my flower and I ended up putting a couple of little stickers on there. I put the bling down there, which I'll probably do on here too. I have more of that and a little charm. All right, guys. Oh, and then don't forget. Okay, I might as well go through that. Here's your, um, what I did for my tags. I have this, it's like a corner chomper thing. These things are great. These, um, actually you can go through several pieces of paper with these, but I'm just going to do one, um, I'm going to use the cloud side and I'll show you what that, oops, that's Kirby. See, it makes it like a little kind of like a, um, what would that be, like a stamp edge almost, but that just makes my tag, oops, so I do all my tags like that, and then I did ink the, um, previous ones I've made, just like around the edges with the, um, vintage photo or something, and then, and I did actually stamp it with, like, a line grid, um, on one side so that you can make, like, a journaling spot, but you don't have to. I mean, you could just put them in here, and people can write, um, come on, you stinker. Don't, don't do this. I can't see what I'm doing, because I'm, there we go, looking around the, um, tripod. But these fit in here, uh, they just stick out, like, they don't, they stick out just, um, to the top of the, like, covers. So it, it was, like, a good size. Sorry, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, because I'm trying to see what I'm doing. Um. Ah, once they've been in here, they, they come in and go out much easier, but, all right, so there you go. So, like, they kind of, like, they just stick out the top a little bit, but because I did that little half moon punch there, you can grab them nice and easy, and you can have a place for journaling. And this actually fits a nice, uh, like, those kid size photos, that's about the size of them, so I like the three by fours. They're cute. All right, guys, well, I hope... That went smoothly. I'm going to go ahead and upload it, um, get it on my computer and see what it looks like. Try to put all these together um, and try it. They're fun. Like I said, they're addictive. They're really, they're really easy. And um, I hope I kind of showed that. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.